Good morning everybody. Today we are going to go over the operation blocks and explore a little more about what they do. What they're used for. Operation uh, blocks, for those who are familiar with uh, mathematics, are just the operators that you use in math. For example, these ones here are very basic. These here, these four operator blocks here, are the usual, the addition, the subtraction, the multiplication, and the division. And uh, you can use them to have them as checkers. So if you add uh, some variable plus another variable, then we want our sprite to do something or subtract multiply or divide and you can put them within each other too like if you're making a big operation they fit in there you can have them do things like this where you do a uh, add these two then subtract what we get and then multiply and then divide let's see so those are the basic ones for operations uh, then we do this one we used this one before pick round them 1 through 10 this allows us to uh, randomly select a number between whatever number we give it here from here to here and we used it in, in some of our uh, previous projects um Let's see what else about this block. I just basically you use it to uh choose a random number. These ones here are also from our mathematics operators. Let's zoom in on those ones. So these ones are also used to do checks and we use these ones in several of our projects that we built before. Um, this one is the greater than operator, and this is the less than operator, and this is the equal operator. This one checks if the value on the uh, on the uh, left side is greater than the value on the right side. Then we execute something. This one checks if the value on the left side is smaller than the value on the right side. Then we execute something. And this one checks if both values are equal. Alright, and um, the next ones are a little more tricky just because they are usually used in programming. For those of you who uh, know uh, the uh, circuit designs, these are ANDs, gates, OR gates, and NOT gates. But we can also translate them into English and uh, basically what they do is this here, this block up here says if this and these, so if this and these then it's true and uh, let me see if I can find uh, a table but it checks if these and these are the same then it's true. Let me find you guys something so that we can elaborate a little bit more. So this, these two have to, for the AND gate, these two conditions have to be true. For, for this to be true. The OR gate, one condition has to be true for either one of them has to be true for the thing itself to be true. And this one here check if it's not true or not false so let me find you guys a little table so you guys can kind of see it in a more uh, graphical way all right so i found something that might help you guys right here 
Let's look at this picture here. So when we were talking about the end, and this is where I'm talking about the gates. We're talking about the end. The end is basically checks if both conditions are true, then the final is true. But if either of the conditions is false, then the uh, the result is false. So the zero itself is false, and the one is true. So this is how the end works here. Ignore the rest of this um, since those are uncovered, but we might be able to create those later. Uh, so this is how it works, and then the or right here, right here in the this one says if if any of the conditions are true then um then it's true so again zero is false and one is true so wherever there's a one it will always be out true and then we have the nod which is the inverter here so if it's uh, if it's false then it's true if it's true then it's false so yeah, um, if you guys want to look into gates, just go ahead and go find uh, logical gates operators. And uh, you guys can learn more about those. If you guys want to hear more about them, we can actually uh, look into them. Let me know in the comments below if you do want to learn about all this stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, I used to use it a lot back in my early years of my career. But, uh, yeah, those are logic design gates. Uh, let's go look, continue with our blocks now. Just wanted to give you guys a visual way of seeing this. So now we have this guy. Join Apple Banana. So that one checks if the two values are put right next to each other. Huh. Let me elaborate. Let me see what that. A little bit more. What does that is? So this basically does what this does. It joins two phrases together or two words to make them into a join. So it says it congregates them together. We are uh, yeah. We'll we'll discuss. We'll play with those because I've we've never used those before. In in a project sometime. Let's see letter one of Apple. Never used this one before, so I'm trying to figure out what this one is. Okay, so this is if you have to read a uh, a uh, a specific character or a sp from a uh, word. So this is what this is gonna do. It's gonna read the first character of the word Apple, which is A. Basically, just reads off whatever letter you wanted to read. It's it's helpful to check, if, for example, if you want to check if uh, your first words start with the, uh, if you have a list of words and they start with the letter B, then you can use this one to check if your words start with the letter B, and then add an uh, add them to some list or something. This one. Uh, self-explanatory it checks the length of the word this one here checks to see if the word itself contains a certain letter mod I've, I've done this one this is spot division was basically um, the remainder of when you divide so uh, for those who are not familiar when you divide usually depending on what you're dividing if it might have a remainder so that will be your mod sometimes it doesn't sometimes it's just zero but uh, yeah basically that's what mod is and we use this a lot in uh, computer science to do different checks to make sure that we're not uh, dividing by zero or things like that it's important to not divide by zero that will be a big no-no. Alright. Next one. Round. 
Oh, this one just rounds the values to the nearest whole number. So if you have a decimal, round it to the nearest whole no, whole value. And then this one, this one is, it takes the absolute value of a certain number. Oh, we also have the floor, the ceiling, the square, the sign. These, uh, these are all, for example, the cosine, sine, tangent, as sine, cos. Those are all the, uh, trick, trick, uh, Lessons for those who you haven't have trig, uh, trigonometry is uh, the mathematics that comes after algebra two, and uh, it's it's a pretty cool thing to learn. You also have all this stuff here, and some of it is algebra here, some of it is trig, absolute values. I think absolute values floor and ceiling. Are usually learned in elementary. They don't. I don't think they call them floor or ceiling, but they do. They do use them in a more of a uh, bigger concept, not in a very detail. But if you guys want to learn about it, it's definitely a lot of things out there to learn on this stuff. Um, Scratch actually has some stuff on it too. Let me bring that down for you guys to see. Right here. Eek. Okay. So, absolute value basically takes the absolute value. Then the square. This uh, website here. It's kind of like their wiki. No, oh, it is the wiki. It explains everything. It's very helpful too. Uh, and then explains everything you need to learn. So if you guys want to learn more about this stuff, you can read here about it. So basically, for all these blocks we covered today, they are all based on mathematics mostly. Oper so they're, they're operators. And for most, uh, I guess it depends on the grade level you're in you will have learned this already or, or will be learning in the future but I mean if you're curious there's so many resources out there out online that you can find and um, it's better to you know prepare yourself for the future and know what you're doing than to wait till someone teaches it to you that was that's always been my in, my initiative I've always done things on my own try to figure out how they work the ability we have nowadays with all these uh, search engines the whole information out there on the web is amazing back in the days when we had to use encyclopedias <laughs> that was hard uh, but uh, yeah this is a quick overview on operators hope you guys enjoyed it and um, I'll see you guys later bye